An alarm clock calls time on a unique experiment. Two Chicago University experts, who in the service of science have been living in the depths of Mother Earth for more than a month, end their test. Bruce Richardson on the bunk and Dr. Nathaniel Cleetman have been studying the cycle of sleep to see if man without daylight can abandon the seven-day week. The recorder indicates Richardson sleeps and wakes regardless of the 24-hour period, while Dr. Cleetman is bound by previous habits, not being as adjustable as his younger companion. Dr. Cleetman speaks. Mr. Richardson and I have now been in the mammoth cave a little over four weeks. We have come here to make observations on the physiology of sleep. A part of his study has been going on at the University of Chicago since 1922. We were entirely successful in our undertaking. We wanted to know that there is in no way a stunt or an act of endurance or perseverance, but a bona fide scientific experiment. We hope that the results which we obtained will be of benefit to science. The most pleasant part of this experiment to me has been my ability to sleep. We've had no noise or sunlight to disturb us. Into the underground wonderland of Mammoth Cave goes a party to welcome the men of science back to the outside world. To penetrate the recesses in which the two men dwell, the visitors cross a subterranean river and work their way through stone jungles of stalactites and stalagmites. Well, if the experiment helps us to sleep better these hot nights, we vote for science.